Well, for young athletes, it is life changing. A new study claims football players are at a higher risk for severe brain injuries than once thought. News Channel 9's Alice Levine shows us what the study reveals and what's being done so things will change before it's too late. Allison. Kim Calvin, scientists from Boston University found CTE in 110 out of 111 brains of deceased NFL players participating in that study. That's 99%, a figure that has local coaches and physicians taking note and taking charge. Pads and helmets, coaches, trainers, and doctors. All protections for young athletes playing sports prone to injury. There's certainly more concern for, for the more heavily weighted, you know, impact sports. Brett Sanders is a physician at the Center for Sports Medicine. We cover multiple sports teams. Friday nights, he's on the sideline watching for the signs and symptoms of concussions. Altered mood, uh, uh, altered mental status, ability to concentrate, focus, attention. How they walk, how they are talking to somebody. Red Bank football head coach Chad Grabowski is in the game of prevention as well. We're cautious and careful and really make sure these kids are taken care of. Concussions are a traumatic brain injury thought to contribute to the development of CTE. Uh, but we're getting better at detecting them. A welcomed upward trend giving recent studies of football players post-mortem. Well, I think there's great concern, uh, especially with the younger brains, uh, the younger athletes. What's the effect? A question that will remain unanswered for the time being. It will be interesting to see how 10, 15 years from now, how much different CTE studies are. While detection is key, prevention is preferred. I think it's going to help ease parents, mainly mamas, uh, minds on that stuff. Coach Grabowski turns to equipment. Our guys all have the top line helmet. And best practices. We don't do a whole lot of uh, full contact at practice. To ensure it. It's not worth a kid's life or something worse for them to be on the field. Doctors say some of the symptoms of CTE include memory loss, aggression, and impulsive or erratic behavior. However, these conditions usually begin years, sometimes even decades, after a brain injury occurs. Calvin? Thanks, Allison. Attorneys for former New England Patriots tight end Aaron Hernandez says he suffered from CTE. He committed suicide back in April while serving a life sentence for murder. 